Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Today we're looking at this. This is the Magnesium from Tubesteader. Now this awesome sounding pedal preamp overdrive is a two valve preamp circuit based on the Magnetone Super 59. The Magnetone Super 59 is Billy Gibbons amp. So you can think of this as Billy Gibbons tone in a box and it is absolutely awesome. So what we've got with this unit is two channels. We've got a clean channel or a cleanish channel and then we've got a drive channel. The drive channel for me is one of the best drive tones that I've ever heard. I'm going into my um, overdrive reverb, my Amplified Nation, which is my favorite amp. And this drive circuit just makes it sound absolutely fantastic. So as I said, we've got two channels. So let's start off on the clean channel. First of all, let's have a quick listen to the tone of the guitar with this in bypass. Let's bring it in. So instantly it adds this big bold sound to your clean tone. Now like a lot of preamp style pedals, when you start to turn up the gain, the EQ changes. And it's very much so with this, as you increase the gain, it gets more and more bassy. The tone of it is absolutely massive. Now, what I found that I really like to do with this pedal is to use my amp, it's like a three channel amp. So I've got my clean tone. Then I get my drive tone from the pedal. Now, as I said, as you turn up the gain on this pedal, it does increase the bass. So I found this amazing setting on this, which turn the treble up full, turn the bass down to minimum, and the mid about 12 o'clock. So as I said, I've got my clean tone. drive tone and then my lead tone Now that to me is my ideal drive tone, especially going into my Amplified Nation amp. I think that sounds really, really good. This pedal's got a couple of clever features on it. We've got an eighth inch jack on the side, which we can use for channel changing. So if you've got something like a switcher and you wanna have this in one of the loops of your switcher. Now something like the Boss ES8 has control out as well. So you can take a control out or a jack out of that, plug into the magnesium, and then you can switch the channels as you're changing the patches on the ES8. Now we've also got the switch on the side, which takes the level down. So you can have this basically as a preamp. So you can use this with say like an IR loader right next to it, and then have this just as your amp, as your silent stage rig, which I think is a really fantastic option for live. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab another guitar and I'm gonna record a track just using the magnesium and we're gonna see how it all fits in the mix. 
And for the first couple of tracks, what I'm gonna do is to use my Nick Hoover, Krautster, and my Les Paul with P90s. And I'm gonna pan each guitar left and right and record it using the blue channel or the, the cleaner channel on the magnesium. Now, tone-wise. <laughs> That's pretty much perfect. Let me just turn up the bass just a little bit. Now, as I said, I'm gonna be using this and my Les Paul. So I'm gonna record two parts and you can hear them with one hard pan left and one hard pan right. Part. I want a really gnarly sort of guitar tone. So I'm gonna definitely bring the bass back, have the treble up full. Now I'm gonna use this jam pedal spoon, which is a boost pedal, just to smash into the front end of the magnesium to get a real gnarly sort of sound. <laughs> so let's go for a take. Next, I switch off the boost pedal. I'm just gonna use the lead channel on the magnesium for this. And I wanna create like a lead part for this track. Now, as I said, the overdrive or the lead channel on this preamp pedal sounds absolutely fantastic. Let's just give it a little bit more bass, a tiny bit more treble. Let's go for a take. So there you go, this is an absolutely awesome sounding pedal. Now because it's valve, it's got two valves in it, it does run at a high voltage inside. So you do get a power supply that comes with it. It's 12 volt, 500 milliamp. Now if you have got a power supply that can do that, or if you've got one of those multi-blocks that can do 12 volts at 500 milliamps, you can use that. But I'd highly recommend trying one of these out. I think they sound absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio at on Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.